everybody, Aaron Cheney here at Warmoth, and this is a Swamp Ash Telecaster replacement body. But not just any Swamp Ash Telecaster replacement body. This is a roasted Swamp Ash Telecaster replacement body. And today I have it attached to a genuine Fender Telecaster neck. And I figured I would take this opportunity to play it and talk about it so you guys can uh, see and hear what roasted Swamp Ash is all about. So let me start out with this. So Roasted Swamp Ash is a new wood offering here at Warmoth. And uh, the first question everybody asks when we talk about roasted woods like swamp ash or maple is why? Why? What's the point of, of heat treating it? Um, and roasting a piece of wood is mostly about stability, also a little bit about weight. Um, when you heat treat a piece of wood, all the moisture that's in it, all the sugars um, disappear and you're left with a piece of wood that is very rigid, very stable and also usually a little bit lighter. Um, and another byproduct of the heat treating process is it changes the color. You know, swamp ash is typically like a, a white creamy color, but you can see that once it's been heat treated, it turns to this nice gold and the distinctive uh, grain lines of swamp ash darken also, so you ha still have that nice contrast. It just becomes this very nice golden color. This is a, a P-base replacement body. We also do, of course, J-base replacement bodies. Um, and then, as you've already seen, we have Telecaster replacement bodies in Roasted Swamp Ash. And uh, it's available in both the uh, in-stock showcase and the custom builders you can spec uh, Roasted Swamp Ash. And then, last but not least, we have Stratocaster replacement bodies. And another thing that we've found about roasted swamp ash is that when you put a finish on it, it darkens considerably. So take a look at this one. This is a, uh, this is finished in clear. Let me get a better hold of it here. This is finished in clear. So you can see that, um, you know, it's, it's this color before it's finished and this color after it's finished in clear. So it darkens quite a bit. Um, it almost takes on this look that's kind of like koa. I mean, if you look at this, part of the body. I mean, that looks very similar to Koa. This is uh, clear satin, by the way. Um, you'll definitely want to keep that in mind when you're ordering a body in a transparent color or a burst, that it's likely going to come out quite a bit darker than if you were getting that same color over regular swamp ash. So just keep that in mind as you're ordering. <laughs> So as far as tone, uh, roasting it doesn't change the tone a ton. It still very much has the signature swamp ash tone, which is kind of that, you know, full uh, full spectrum tone, maybe a little poppy on the high end, and it still very much sounds like that. So roasted swamp ash is really kind of a win-win. You get a rigid body that's a little bit lighter weight, still have the signature swamp ash tone, and it's just it, they're great bodies. Um, and that is roasted swamp ash. If you have any more questions, check out our website, give our customer service reps a call. They will never steer you wrong. And until next time, keep on picking!